All around us, technology is helping to create new communities. New online services are providing the platforms to build trust between strangers and supporting a reinvention of old market ideas like swapping, renting and lending. People are borrowing rarely used tools rather than buying them, swapping clothes they no longer need for new favourites and sharing skills like trading sushi making for French lessons. In London, tourists and commuters have made four million journeys using the city's shared bike scheme in less than 12 months. And garden dating agencies like Landshare have matched more than 60,000 green-fingered people with spare gardens or fellow gardeners. These ideas are part of a growing movement called collaborative consumption. So what does all this mean for the world of public services? Nesta brought together a group of leading thinkers to explore this question and show how using technology to enable trust between strangers might help reinvent our public services. The group looked at successful projects like The Good Gym, a service in London's Tower Hamlets, which pairs runners with isolated, less mobile people in their area. Every week since signing up, Ben has run three miles to deliver a copy of the East London Advertiser to Sarah. The good gym makes both people useful and directs energy from where there's a surplus to where it's needed. And it's not just runners who can help their neighbours. Southwark Circle is a new service in South London which helps older people share their time and skills with others in their area. The members put in a few hours each week or month to give practical help with things like putting up shelves, digging over the garden or setting up a Facebook page. Along the way, Members meet other people in their community, reducing isolation and building resilience, which helps reduce demand on services. What works for people's time can also work for their surroundings. The UK is full of spaces that aren't being used. Camden Shares is a time bank that allows those with space to exchange it for time and skills. One of its members, the Baobab Centre, run workshops in summer and need space to house them. University College London has masses of space. Through Camden Shares, the Baobab Centre gets the space they need and in return bring a new community into the university. All these ideas depend on the power of technology to enable trust between strangers. Technology has opened up new ways of collaborating that can make use of spare capacity in communities, matching millions of haves with millions of wants. If our public services could design ways to use that spare capacity, they could provide an alternative solution to some of our most pressing social challenges. Public services could be transformed from a provider of services to an enabler of participation and social engagement. To find out more about how to enable trust between strangers, visit nesta.org.uk slash collaborative consumption resources.